Hello and welcome to Good Morning Sri Lanka on the 19th of February. You're here with me, Harith and Sam. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm good. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and we have a lot of wonderful stories lined up for you. Harith? And of course, uh, Good Morning Sri Lanka this week, we are going to take a close look at social media. It's going to be the social media week of Good Morning Sri Lanka. Of course, uh, several interviews, several facts. It's, it's, a, it's a big phenomenon, Sam. I mean, social media. We were born into that era, I suppose. I remember the first time I got a Hi-Fi account. That's True. came into the social media era and now here we are it's just it, we can't live without it exactly it started uh, social revolutions it, it connects people so this week on Good Morning Sri Lanka we're hoping to give you more information on social media networking how to make it more accessible how to make it more fun uh, we'll have interviews we have a whole heap of things lined up for you for the social media networking. just to keep our re uh, listeners and viewers interested now just something I got Hello and a very good morning to all of you. It's Thursday, the 21st of February. And of course, uh, Thursdays may not be exciting as Fridays for some of you, but you must be quite excited that tomorrow is a Friday uh, because the long weekend is also coming up. And we've got some interesting topics scheduled for you for the show today. And not to mention, this week is Social Media Week from the 18th to the 22nd. And today we had a... Quite a chirpy lady walking into the studio and she had quite a nice and bright and pretty smile. And of course, we will be having a chat with her uh, very soon. So stay tuned to that. And this being Social Media Week, of course, I've got some interesting facts for you on social media, which I am about to read out to you. So here goes. Um, Facebook's one billion members uh, makes it the third largest country in the world behind China and India. And each day... 20% of Google searchers have never been searched before. Every second, two new members join LinkedIn. Uh, that is the equivalent of the entire enrollment of the Ivy League joining LinkedIn every day. Uh, social gamers will buy 6 billion in virtual goods by the end of 2013, while uh, moviegoers will buy only 2.5 billion in real goods. Uh, every minute, 72 hours of video are uploaded on YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. 53% uh, of people on Twitter recommend products in their tweets. 90% of customers trust peer recommendations, compared with 14% who trust advertising. Uh, New Yorkers receive tweets about an East Coast earthquake 30 seconds before they actually felt it. And of course, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber and Katy Perry have more Twitter followers than the entire populations of Germany, Turkey, South Africa, Canada, Argentina and Egypt. And of course, we've got an exciting little video just about the little facts that I uh, told you about. So check this out.
Well, there you go. Very interesting facts about social media indeed. Who would have thought a country would actually come up and name their babies Facebook and Twitter? Uh, quite interesting indeed. Of course, here in uh, MTV Sports, we too, we've all, we are also on uh, many of the social media channels. So all you have to do is just log on to Facebook and you can uh, search for Good Morning Sri Lanka. We are there. And of course, you can also log into www.webtv.com and check out some uh, different programs of the MTV network itself. And of course, you can find Sports First on Twitter. Uh, you can uh, uh, check out Cheeky Chef, one of our very uh, interesting programs on MTV Sports. And they are on there, that's on Facebook too. And which actually the chef will give you answers on certain uh, questions about several recipes and culinary uh, on that subject. Also, um, Talking about the whole topic of cyberspace and stuff, you know, recently we did discuss in the earlier programs that there was about 250 Twitter accounts that were hacked, and of course Facebook also came in and they claimed that uh, there was a breach in their security systems as well, even though that nothing really affected them. But of course, in other news, um, the Twitter account of Burger King also very recently got hacked, where the hackers actually uh, changed the Twitter profile picture to McDonald's and uh, also made claims saying that McDonald's bought over uh, Burger King and that was on Twitter and of course it's not just them Apple computers have reported that they've been uh there were attempts to hack Apple as well. You know, Apple has said its computers were attacked by the same hackers uh, that targeted Facebook. Now, the iPhone maker said a small number of its machines were affected, but added there was no evidence of data theft. But last week, Facebook said it had traced a cyber attack back to China, uh, which had infiltrated employees' laptops. And Apple said it would release a software update to protect customers against the malicious software used in the attack. Now, of course, uh, there have been several attacks, and a lot of uh, attacks have been targeting uh, U.S. Uh, government uh, websites and uh, different co companies. And, of course, there was a huge uh, question mark as to where these hackers actually came from. Um, and after the preliminary investigations, they found out that uh, these hackers were from China. But of course, after in-depth um, investigations, they claim that the Chinese army is behind this. And this is what several international media agencies such as CNN, uh, BBC, and of course many reputed agencies uh, worldwide are claiming because this is what the United States is claiming after their investigations. Uh, to one's real surprise, the culprit behind all the hackings against the United States is the Chinese army, and specifically they are known as the uh, Comment Crew or Shanghai Group. Uh, two are rather non-intimidating names, if you ask me, and they are in uh, PLA Unit 61398, a 12-story office tower located just outside of Shanghai, is what reports claim. Um, also, the Chinese are denying that they've been hacking the U.S., uh, claiming such an activity is illegal. And nevertheless, the Obama administration plans to inform China's new leaders that the attacks have become so intense that they threaten the fundamental relationship between Washington and Beijing. Uh, we're going to go for a short break, break, and when we come back, like I said, we have a very interesting guest lined up, and we will be discussing the social media context uh, in Sri Lanka. So stay right here on Good Morning Sri Lanka.